Hello everyone, in this video we will explore how to create high quality ortho photos from mobile laser scanning data using the powerful Leica Cycon 3D software. A special shout out goes to Romain Selnev, the brilliant mind behind the cutting edge script we'll be using today. I had the privilege of being a beta tester for this incredible tool, which automates large-scale auto images generation in Cyclone 3D. If you have improvement suggestions or feature requests for the script, feel free to reach out to Romain directly. This script allows you to automatically process large volumes of LGS data, generating auto images from both camera images and LiDAR point clouds with ease, but also it can be used for point cloud segmentation by tiles. About the requirements, you need to have the Leica Cyclone 3 d version 2025.1.3 or later and LGS 6 file with trajectory, preferably if you have single trajectory. And additionally, it's recommended to use rear cameras attached to Leica Pegasus mobile mapping systems for the best quality. To get started, just import your LG 6 point cloud data into Leica Cyclone 3 d software. No need to convert it, just simply import the data and run the script by following these steps. Go to Tools, Script, Run Script, select the large scale auto image JS file, click Run. The script will immediately present you with the main menu offering two processing options. So the first option is JPEG Orto, this is image based. This option is generating mesh from the point cloud and then utilizing camera data recorded during mobile mapping and projecting images onto this mesh. Here we're recommending to use the rear camera images for optimal results. And this approach could be ideal for road condition assessments, asset inventory and visual documentation. Second option is LiDAR Orto or point cloud based. This option uses only LiDAR point cloud to create Orto images based on point cloud intensity color, RGB color or classification color. This is useful when rear cameras are unavailable and suitable for technical analysis, infrastructure analysis and geometric measurements. Let's start with the first option JPEG Orto. Select this option and click OK. Then script will ask you to input the parameters for mesh generation. So the first parameter will be texture generation width. Define the mesh creation distance from the trajectory path. Larger values capture more roadside features while smaller values focus on the road surface. So next will be the height of the IMU. This value should match your actual sensor height for accurate road surface extraction. Mesh triangle size. This parameter controls mesh detailed level. Smaller values offer more detail but require longer processing. So next will be filtering section. Filter non-horizontal data, remove points that aren't horizontal, plus minus 10 degrees tolerance. So this is recommended for most road mapping projects. Disable this for steep terrain or ramps. Normal angle tolerance retains points with normals within this angle from horizontal affecting curve detection accuracy. Two small values may remove important features. Be aware of it. Once we configure the settings, click OK to proceed to camera selection. In camera selection menu, choose which cameras to use for texturing. In general, you can select all of them, but we recommend to use only rear cameras. When you're collecting the data, it's recommended to capture images at a 2 or 3 meter interval, depending on vehicle height, for consistent and accurate coverage. Once you selected your preferred cameras, click OK to proceed. Next will be export settings. Configure the output parameters. Textile size defines the pixel resolution in real world units. 5 mm value equal 5 mm per pixel. Smaller values results in higher resolution image, but size will be much larger. Next, the script will ask you to define the folder for saving these images. Select an output folder with sufficient storage space. The script will generate multiple files per one tile, including JPEG file for Orto image and JGV georeference file for mapping application that contains the real location of the image. Once the script begins, the processing is fully automated. Here's what happens step by step. First step, mosaic creation. Script analyzes the data extent and divide it into 50 to 50 meter tiles. Red tile boundaries are displayed to indicate the processing grid. Progress is shown in the command workflow with the status like order generation X and Y. Red color for tile means that this tile currently in the processing queue. Green color means that it was successfully completed. Let's imagine that you want to process only specific tile. In that case, you need to stop the script 
select the tile you want to process and then run script again using the same parameters but now it will do the processing only for this selected tile. Alternatively, you can limit the processing area by using Cyclone 3D clipping tools to create clippings, adjusting the visibility of point clouds required for auto image generation. In this case, tiles will be generated only for the visible areas. Next, let's explore the LiDAR option. Restart the script and select LiDAR Auto from the main menu. Here you will see different settings. LiDAR display settings defines the maximum point density per one tile. Higher values equal more details but slower processing. You can adjust these settings based on your system capabilities. LiDAR point size scale factor for point visualization. Larger points equal more visible but less detail. Useful for sparse data set to enhance visibility. LiDAR representation. Choose how the LiDAR data is visualized. You can select by color, by intensity or by class. If you select by color, script uses RGB values from the point cloud. If you select by intensity, then LiDAR return intensity will be used. And if you select by class, then you can choose for each class which style you want to use. But for this option, you need to be sure that your point cloud was classified before in uh, Leica Pegasus Office software. If you're using intensity mode, you can enable use custom intensity color scale to create professional looking intensity maps. Simply browse and select an RSI color scale file for this purpose. To prepare the RSI file, you can convert a small part of the point cloud into native format, switch representation to intensity and go to the edit colors menu. Adjust the intensity histogram and save the template as an RSI file. Now you can use this template in all your projects. With the export option, you can generate a separate point cloud for each tile. And if you enable this option, then you can save it as E57 or LAS format. So in that case, the output files will be JPEG and JJV, similar as in previous workflow. But also, the script will generate for you a separate point cloud files divided by tiles in E57 or LAS format. Classification display. If your data set includes point classification, you can select decide by class and configure each class individually. For each class, you can define display type, choose from color, intensity, flat or hidden. Here you can define for each class the style of coloring. You can even hide the particular class if you don't want to visualize it. It could be noise, for example. The generated ORT images come with georeference files, GJV that contains precise coordinate information. That means when you open the JPEG files in any CAD software like AutoCAD, BricsCAD, MacroStation or GIS applications like ArcGIS, QGIS, Map Enterprise, they will be automatically positioned in the correct geographic location without any manual georeferencing required. Let's check how you can open them in BricsCAD and QGIS. For the BricsCAD, create new project, then set the coordinate system by typing the common geographic location. In the pop-up window, click the three dots icon and then select the appropriate coordinate system from the list. Then click OK. Attach your images by typing command image attach and select your images. Then all images will automatically be placed in the correct position. For QGIS, it's very similar workflow. Just create a new project. Go to the settings, options, CRS and transform and set the coordinate system. Click CRS and choose the appropriate coordinate system from the list. It will be applied to your project. Then add your images. Simply drag and drop your images into the main window. In the layers tab, select all your images with right click, mouse button and then in the pop-up menu go to layer CRS, choose your coordinate system from the list. After zooming into any image, you will see that it's correctly positioned on the map. Typical processing time for one image takes from 2 to 5 minutes and it depending on data density, mesh detail settings and other factors. But there is a way how to speed up this process. In Leica Cyclone 3DI you can run multiple instances of the software simultaneously and process different tiles in each instance. Here how I did it. First step, open the project in the first instance of the software and run the script to generate tiles. Then you can stop it. 
open three additional windows of Cyclone 3DR with the same project and copy the tiles from first instance into each of them. Select a different set of tiles in each window and run the script in all of them simultaneously. So I was able to process 27 tiles in just 24 minutes, which is faster than one tile per minute. If your computer specification allow, you can run even more instances of Leica Cyclone 3DR. The software supports opening multiple instances on the same machine using a single license. Once all your images are ready, you might want to fine-tune the colors, brightness, sharpness or other aspects. So I used GIMP, a free image editing software for this purpose. To process multiple images efficiently, you can either use a command line interface or for easier approach just install BMP plugin. Here's the workflow. Open one of your images in GIMP software, navigate to the colors menu and adjust different parameters of image as you wish. Take note of the values you apply to the image. After installing the BMP plugin, go to File, Batch Image Manipulation. In the pop-up window, click the Add button and then select the same corrections for colors, sharpness, shadows and highlights. Enter approximately the same values that you used for single image in the first step. Then add all your images to the list of files for processing, specify the output folder and click the apply button. GIMP will automatically process all your images one by one applying the correction you specified. 